All right, welcome back to yet another video. Uh, we are gonna be finishing up the uh, weapon system that we started in the last one. And uh, dragged out a lot of the on, on the time, so we're gonna keep this one shorter. And uh, we're just gonna wrap things up with the two-handed weapon and the shield. So, uh, but in the last episode, we made sure that we have this main hand, and we have this off hand, and we can equip them and still do the attacks. So basically, what we're gonna do now is we're just I'm just gonna add a let's do a provisionary. Do we have the infinite blades weapon? Yeah, let's do a, uh, maybe we have an axe or something. Staff, dual blade, blunt blade, sword, oh, I saw axe. We have axes. Let's find a cool ass axe. Yeah, that saddles it. Let's go with, ah, oh, so small. I can actually just make it a bit bigger. Uh, let me pause while I find a cool axe. Actually, this one is looking quite nice. Uh, we're just gonna do like this. Uh, convert to static mesh. Models. Weapons. Uh, I tried finding some stylized weapons to go with my character, but they weren't really working and they were really unperformant with lots of polygons for some reason. So. Uh, SM X zero one, and for this one we're just gonna up the scale a little bit. Let's do one point five. There we go. That's good. Delete this. So we're just gonna use this one. So go into your skeleton, do a, can we just copy, do a equip underscore x, add preview asset, and we're going to do the x that we just made, smx, it's going to be this way. And you can see that it's clearly, actually it's not that much longer, but it's cool though, that's the thing. Maybe make it a little bit longer. There we go. Uh, and let's do the unequip. C, Control V. It worked before. Come on. Add sockets. Okay, it's something is not. I'm having so much trouble with this engine today. Oh no, it copied. Just took a while. Unequip. X. Add preview assets. SM X. Something like that, maybe. Or it's cooler to have it this way, maybe. Let's do it this way. There we go. Perfect. Delete this one. And now we can browse here. Let's create another child of the master weapon. And this is gonna be X. And for the mesh, we wanna use the X. And in the details, we for the mesh details, we wanna use the X. And equip. Unequip. And these are the slots we just made. 
and this is going to be two-handed <coughs> and the stance is going to be two-handed so let's see um, when we set the weapon if it's a item type is two-handed we're gonna set the two-handed mesh and we're gonna set it to the unequip socket so that should work out of the box uh, this should not work out of the box so let's go down here let's just delete these we don't need anymore okay so we are in our multicast equip weapon function um, and we're gonna go from here from our two hands so what happens when we equip uh, basically we can copy the first part this so we can copy the first part but it's gonna be the two hand mesh that gets moved and not the main hand mesh basically what we want to do is we want to grab the these we want to grab didn't I get that so messy let's clean this shit up later Oh, I don't have my add-ons. This comment, there are so many good like plugins and stuff for comments because this is just like, am I really supposed to do like this? Insane. Move it up. I just want to create some space. So this that we have here, this equips the uh, two-handed axe and what we want to do here is we want to unequip everything else so keep going here but what's gonna happen now is the main hand is gonna be moved to the main hand equip unequip socket instead And the offhand is gonna go to the offhand unequip. And then we can also grab these from the two hand. And we are gonna unequip from the two hand. Let's see if that works. We have the X. We have the first sword. We have the shield. And we can see that we have plenty of weapons now. Press Q. Because we are unarmed, nothing happens. There we go. We equip the sword. And we press Q again. And we get the X. And we can see that the socket is a little bit weird. it shouldn't be hmm. <laughs> equip is this the unequip this is the unequip equip x Okay, let's find out what happened there. Grab this, grab this, 
grab this. So we start in unarmed. So nothing is equipped first. Then we equip the sword. Then we equip the axe. And it's super weird because it's It's like the other way around from the socket. I have no idea why. Maybe it's a. Yeah, I have no idea. Hopefully, yeah, I'm gonna. That shouldn't happen. Because it's clearly. Okay. Then we just rotated it, I guess. There we go. <laughs> it probably is some kind of problem with the... Uh, yeah. No. Okay. It's because I'm using the sword. In the axe, I am equipping the axe. This is easily a problem here. Uh, there we go. This shouldn't be the main hand details. This should be the two hand details. Sorry. I thought it was weird. Okay, that's gonna work now, so let's not put any more focus on that. Um, if we are unarmed, but now it's actually working, so if we are unarmed, we should go there. If we are two-handed, we should go there. Perfect, perfect, and one more time, no, okay, no, and then the last one, the last one is to go back to being unarmed, uh, so let's do that as well, actually that one is super easy, it's just copy all of these, delete this print screen, I don't need it, So the last one is going back to unarmed, and the only thing we need to do is actually unequip everything. And we just set it back to unarmed. So basically that means we should be able to move around. Doom, doom, doom. Back to unarmed. So that's working fairly nice. Uh. Ah, okay. It's the same with the unequip. So the two hand mesh here should go to the two hand details. And gonna be the same down here. Off hand, main hand, two hand. There we go. So everything is going back. Okay, one more thing. Um, let's check if this is working. Uh, 
valid. Can't we do that? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's fine for now. Basically, let's add two bulls. Uh, main one. No, actually. Uh, one handed. Two handed. Okay, so basically what these ones do is if we equip uh, if we equip a main hand or an off hand Ah oh. oh, fuck it. Let's just leave that for now, it's a tutorial. Uh, maybe I'll do that later. Uh, so what I was gonna do is basically what happens now is if I pick up this sword or this axe, you see, I can't equip it even though it's the only weapon I have. I have to first scroll through an empty. But that's maybe that's not such a big deal. Uh, anyway, yeah. So there you go. Um, what we also should do is in the attack. Yeah, so if you go to your attack function, there we go, we have this stance, right? So if we are two handed, we're gonna do the attack from the two handed weapon instead. And if we are unarmed, we're just gonna do punches. Uh, so let's actually do an unarmed details as well, where we can just add punches. So let me pause for a teeny bit and I'll go get some animations from Examo. Uh, or actually I'm back uh, I think that's gonna be enough for this episode um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend a little time getting a lot more animations because this is fine for the weapon equipment system for now obviously we're gonna refine it when when we do like an easy inventory so that you can actually swap these weapons out for different other weapons but um, um, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna find some different locomotion animations some different movement animations and we're gonna blend them a little bit differently so when I equip the sword I'm, as you can see we're not gonna move in the same way because it, the sword is clipping and then when I switch to the axe obviously we won't be moving with a heavy axe in like one hand like this we're gonna need to switch that one up as well so that we um, you have it two-handed when we are running around and stuff like that so yeah that's uh, but this is gonna be it for this episode uh, as you can see it's working fine so let me know in the comments if you have any questions and goodbye